My husband knew for years that Robert Burton was homosexual and using young men who were members, and I didn't know. He didn't tell me. He wouldn't talk to me about it. Burton predicted or had been given the message by one of the 44 angels that uh, the end of civilization as we know it uh, was imminent. It would happen in our lifetimes. In fact, he gave specific dates. I'd, I asked questions. Um, in hindsight, I know that I was told some lies about things like his celibacy. On the same token, they mislead people with consequences of tremendous suffering, kind of trapped in Oregon House. <laughs> but so much information was was hold back. I could not, if I had known what was going on, I could not have been a part of that organization. Uh, they weren't upfront about having a teacher. When they said there was a teacher, I expected it, him to be or her to be from the East. They said he's from California. I can remember feeling that, uh-oh. Young men will, will be uh, asked to go to California and before they know, they get um, they get presents and they get lured into this energy of the teacher and how special it is, and then um, then they have to give the this person sexual favors. We were lined up in the um, actually in the kitchen, I think that was one of the bigger rooms or more convenient rooms at Luxford House. And he just walked down the line and he was accompanied by the center director. And they all went down, we all shook hands. Um, briefly, he just went from person to person. Um, he struck me as weird. Well, I was always really nervous. And I don't think I ever said anything. It just you know, just terrified, really. And I didn't come for that at all. If they would have told me when I came there, like, this is what this guy is going to do, I would have turned around right away. And at first, I thought he was engaging me in conversation, but he told me to uh, shut up. No, he didn't say those words. He said uh, it would be externally considerate for you to uh, not talk with your teacher. I really didn't talk much when I was in the Fellowship of Friends, when I was around um, other members. But so much information was, was held back, and they, they didn't tell that to any new student. At a meeting, some members had stood up and asked rather provocative questions, and they were thrown out uh, of the Fellowship the next day. For 18 months, the average hours were 18 hours a day, including many operations lasting up to five days with no sleep at all. And that was uh, quite common. There was other people that worked harder and longer than I did. It was a, a challenge. Everybody was strung out on coffee, really thick coffee. But you work all the time. You're so busy. So you don't have much time to relax. You don't have time to rethink, to slow down. So then after years, I had worked so hard for all these years, I can't tell you how, my, how long I worked, 24 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts. It's an evil organization. It's just, um, it has nothing to do with spiritual growth. Um, it's a cult. Um, everybody who's there is abused in some way on some level fear or adore him. Because they never told me anything and they knew, they knew. I didn't ask questions and I regret that deeply. I'm, I'm, I'm angry that I did not see it before because it was all there. It was really all there. And um, in a certain way we were kind of not protected very well. Nobody who took the energy to warn you. So the demands grew. The first three years, you know, you're like loved and cared and people think you're, you know, come and they give you this wonderful feeling of a community and that you're loved and 
and after a while the demands get bigger and bigger and bigger. It goes very slowly. It's like uh, you know, a little bit this, a little bit that, and you think, that's weird. But you work all the time, you're so busy. So you don't have much time to relax, you don't have time to rethink, to slow down. So then after years, I had worked so hard for all these years, I can't tell you how, my, how long I worked, 24 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts. It was a trick. I believed it for a long time. Young men will will be uh, asked to go to California, and before they know, they get um, they get presents and they get lured into this energy of the teacher and how special it is, and then um, then they have to give the this person, sexual favors. <laughs>